Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Just thought I'd share with you today a broom that I made from the sage grass that was on the property. Uh, I posted that a friend of mine met me at the land yesterday. We had a picnic. We really enjoyed the day. And there's sage grass everywhere. So we was gathering sage grass and making these sage grass brooms. And uh, she made one for me to leave at the cabin. Anne and I got gathered some and brought home to make this morning. And I tried to do a video of it, but it, it went off. Like I said, I can't do anything hardly with holding my phone. And I had showed you that I had laid it out. And I'd put the longest ones in the middle. I had spread it out, put the longest ones in the middle, and then gathered it up and started... Uh, tying the baling twine around it and I had to set it down to do that and when I did the phone went off so that often happens uh, I'm sorry one of these days I'll have a good camera hopefully and a, a stand that I can actually do some things but anyway I just thought I'd share with you what's going on in the homestead a lot of people would put these up by the fireplace to sleep off the uh, uh, the hearth. It's uh, soft bristles, so it's not like a, a broom to sweep the floor, but to sweep ashes and things off the hearth, and you know, things. Um, and this is the fourth homemade broom I have got. I've got a corn cob broom that, when the corn cobs get frayed, all you do is take them out and um, put more corn cobs in it. <laughs> And I've got one with a different kind of grass that um, is real long and skinny. It's a cobweb broom. And then I've got a regular broom uh, that's homemade and has a little doll made onto it. And the skirt covers the, the bristles. And you just raise the skirt up and sweep and then put the skirt back down and set it in a corner for a pretty little broom. And so this is my fourth one. And this one I'm not even going to put a handle on. Now the handles on the other are just sticks. Just find a nice stick. One of them, the cobweb broom, still has bark on the stick. Uh, the corn cob broom uh, does not have the... It was peeled and painted blue. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, not going to have a handle. I'll just hold it like this and sweep the hearth. Or, you know off what I want to sleep off. Anyway, and I also have a yard broom. Maybe I will show you uh, that making a yard broom. You just get some sticks, you know, when you're picking up the yard. If you find uh, a stick with a lot of little stems going out, find a few of them, tie them up, and that's a yard broom. You can, you know, get leaves and stuff off the sidewalk or walkway or whatever and um with that and that's called a yard broom so i guess that's five brooms that i've got then that are homemade but anyway just thought i'd share that with you today this is brenda weatherly with the simple life homesteading the pioneer way saying keep homesteading <laughs>